Hello everyone, we will continue the change request to as a part of sales order report. And in the previous video, we created a additional button in the application toolbar. Yes. And after that, we understood in the debugging mode that in LT final, we have both selected and deselected rows. And in LT temp final, we have the selected rows. And yes, whatever the rows are selected and whenever user will click on to the invalidate button, we need to insert those records to the database table. Now we will go for further writing the logic. Now, before writing the logic, what is the syntax for the insert database operation? Because that will create a base for the further coding. What is the syntax for insert database table operation? Insert your database table from work area. If we are using work area. Now, if we are going for internal table, so what is the syntax? Insert DB table, your database table from table internal table. So we can go for any of the syntax. If we go for first syntax, we need to insert one by one to database table. If we go for second syntax, we will insert multiple records at a time to database table. Now, just see if we will go for our current requirement, if I will open in that debugging mode again, I will run. Okay, I'll just activate. I'll just make it, yes, activate. I'll put a breakpoint and show you in that debugging. Then we will write the code. Suppose we are going for multiple line selections. So what we will do, we will go for internal table concept. We will simply, simply store those records into the internal table and from the internal table we will go for the database table you can go for one by one also it's total your wish if you are going for one by one then what will happen first record we are inserting to database table second record we are inserting to database table Third record, we are inserting to database table. So we are going for insert database operation three times. And just think, if user is going for 50, 60 or 100 invalidate action, then in that case, for every record, we are inserting, inserting to database table. So it will highly, highly impact the performance. So what we will do? Whatever the user is selecting the rows, we will insert to one internal table and we will write a single insert statement to insert to the database table. So in our current scenario, it will give the good performance as compared to this. Because if you will go for work area, one at a time. If user is selecting 100 rows, then we have to go for insert 100 times. So what we will do, what is the best way? We will insert 100 records to one internal table. And from internal table, we will go for single insert statement to insert to the database table. So we will go for second syntax. Now, we will simply write the logic now. I will go to back button. Now, what is the syntax? Insert database table 
from table internal table it means firstly we need to declare the internal table now if you want more more clarity in a bab programming playlist we already covered database operation and at that time we put so much stress whatever the work area and internal table you are using to for any operation to database table this work area and internal table must have the same type as that of database table i will again repeat what is the point whenever you are going for database operation yes we are inserting data to database table so it means it is a insert database operation whenever you want to go for any database operation to database table using work area or internal table work area and internal table must have the same type as that of database table if a table has five columns the work area should have five column if a table has 10 columns work area should have 10 column same thing is for internal table also it means our work area and internal table must have the same type as that of database table so we will declare the work area and internal table so i will simply write data suppose my name of the internal table is lt underscore invalidate now you all know whenever you have a internal table what is the keyword type table of and what is the name of our database table i will just go for our database table and i will pass this is our database table which we create now you can see this internal table is referring to this table now table has how many column six column it means this internal table has how many column six column now it is totally your wish if you want to go by types way no problem you can go for types also you can create a structure of six column and you can declare the internal table of those six column anyways we have a table of six column so we will simply simply use that table if you want more explanation go for database operation in a bab programming playlist just understand in one liner table is a structure itself table is what table is a collection of columns structure is also a collection of columns yes so if i am writing internal table type table of this table name ultimately this table is a collection of column table has six column it means this internal table has six column if you want to go by types way no problem take a structure of six column and you can declare in that way also now i will go for work area data lwa underscore invalidate type my table name so my work area has six column my internal table has also six column now in this internal table if i will go for lt temp final in this internal table we have the selected rows one by one the selected rows are going to this work area from this work area we will fill this work area from this work area we will fill this internal table and you all know what is the internal table operation append append so i will write the logic 
firstly lwa underscore invalidate hyphen for the first column pbeln it is coming from where lwa final bbeln now i will do control d for the next column postna line item number it is coming from where postna now i will go for next now what is next next is date time and user just check in the work area itself date time and user now what is your date as date now you all know what is the system variable for that date side datum because we want to pass system data what is next one time s time now what is the system variable for that time it is psi u z e i t if you do not want if you don't know the system variable no problem go for s y s t structure and you can check there itself if i will go for time you will understand you can see current time what is the name u z e i t now we will go for user s user now what is the system variable for the user u name psi u so one by one selected rows are in this work area from this work area we pass it to our new work area how how we will append it to internal table how we will insert to internal table append work area to internal table now you all know after every append statement we should clear the work area i'll check the syntax up to this level lt underscore invalidate i'll check the name invalidate done so what is the summary of the video in this video we have written the logic to append the data to invalidate internal table and we all know very very well whenever we are going for any database operation using work area or internal table work area and internal table must have the same type as that of database table and we are going for second syntax because if user is selecting 100 rows 200 rows why why we should go for insert database operation 200 or 300 times we will simply insert to one internal table and we will go for single insert insert one at we will go only go for insert once so what we did we declared the internal table we declared the work area and we declare when we declare the internal table and work area we refer the database table itself it means our work area and internal table both have six column. Now, in this LT time final, we have the selected rows. From this LT time final, we pass to WA final. We pass it to new work area and we fill the internal table. Now, in this internal table, we have all the selected records which user want to invalidate in the next video we will simply simply 
insert these records to which database table, whatever our database table is there. So that's it in this video. Thank you.